Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I wanted to show you real quick how to make your own registration marks in CorelDRAW and have them print on all of your transparencies when you're printing multicolor images. Right here I have just an 8.5 by 14 inch sheet of paper. Um, the numbers and the arrows are just for demonstration purposes. I'll get to those later. The first thing you want to do is go to your text tool which is on the left side of your screen in your toolbar. You want to click on that and then click anywhere on your page and you want to add a plus sign. Now this is your registration mark so you want to make it as little or as big as you need. I like my registration marks top, bottom and left and right so I will need four of them so I want to do control C to copy and control V to paste to make one I'm going to drag it to the right and again control C and control V to copy and paste drag one to the bottom control C to copy and control V to paste and then I want to drag one over to the left so now I have all four registration marks go ahead and click your pick tool which is up on the top of your toolbar click that and I always start with the top one and work my way around that way I know I have them all done so now we're going, I'm going to show you um, how to center your registration marks. Our, um, registration mark highlighted or clicked on and up here on the top we have an X and a Y. The X is where it's going to be centered the length way of your page. So you want it centered, so you want to highlight that. Now half of 14 is 7 to get it in the center, so you want to just type in 7.0 and hit enter and now it's in the center of your page. So now I like mine one inch from the side, um, from the edge of the page. You can put it wherever you want but I do mine at one inch so one inch away from 8.5 is going to be 7.5 and hit enter and now I have it lined up on the top of the page and then you want to do that to all of the registration marks. I'm going to click the one over here. Again, I'm going to highlight the X and I want it one inch away from this edge. So that would be 13.0 is going to put it one inch. And then I want it centered in the page. So half of 4 or 8.5 is 4.25. Hit enter and now that one's centered. So go down here to the bottom. Again, click on your X. You want it in the center. It's going to be 7.0 and then you want it in the center, you want it one inch away from the edge so you want it 1.0 and now you're centered there. Go to your last one, click on it, you want it one inch away from this edge or you want it centered first of all so that center is going to be half of uh, 8.5 is 4.25 alright actually we don't want that, we're going to control Z to um, go back so we want to highlight the X and that is going to be 1.0 because 1 inch from the edge and then the Y is going to be the 4.25 and then hit enter. Okay now that we have them all centered click anywhere on your page and now I'm going to show you how to add the registration color to it. Okay so now this is how you add your registration color to it. You want to go to your top plus sign and again I like to work clockwise around the page so I know that I have them all and just want to click on it double click to highlight it and then you want to go over to your smart fill tool which is on the left of your screen you want to click on that and then up here on the top it's going to give you a drop down box you want to click the arrow and then you want to click other now there's different there's palettes there's mixers what you want to go under is models there's a drop down arrow here with a bunch of different selections. On the very bottom is a selection called registration color. You just want to click on that and click OK and now you have that one as your registration color. You always want to lock these into place so that when you're doing your designing you're not m messing around with your registration marks. So you want to go up to arrange and lock object and now that one's locked into place. And you just want to do that to each one of these. You want to click on it double click to highlight, smart fill, drop down arrow, click other, under models make sure you have registration color selected, click OK, then you want to go to arrange, lock your object, click anywhere on the page, go to the bottom, highlight it, double click, highlight it, smart fill, drop down arrow, click other, make sure registration color is selected, click OK, click Arrange, Lock Object so it's locked into place, 
And do your last one, highlight, smart fill, drop down arrow, other, under models, you want registration color, click OK, and then you want to lock it into place, arrange, lock object. And that's pretty much it. Now when you save it, you want to save it as a save as template. So click file, save as template. I have my own spot I save as template, name it whatever you want. Click OK. I already have one in there. I'm going to replace it. Click Yes and you can name it and put it in whatever category that you want. So now when you print your designs, it will show up on all of your pages. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know.